guys, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial, in this After Effects tutorial, we are going to create this. Here you can see, I have imported all media files which I will be using for this project. Complete After Effects template is also available on my web store, you can check link in the description. Now let's see how to create this logo reveal. Create a new composition, I will name it as logo reveal. Set time duration to, 6 seconds, remaining everything will be same. Now let's add the logo. Here you can scale your logo if needed, I will scale my logo. Perfect. Now let's pre-compose it. Name it as logo. Select move all attribute into new composition. Perfect. Now add the reflection media file to the timeline, place it below logo composition. For reflection, change track mat to alpha mat logo. For reflection, Search for turbulent displace. Add it to the reflection layer. Now in effects and preset, search for CC glass. Add it to the reflection layer. For glass. In surface, change bump map to logo. Property to alpha. Change softness to zero. Now in effects and preset, search for CC blob lies. Add it to the reflection layer. For blob lies, change blob layer to logo. Property to alpha. Set softness to 10. Set cutaway to 0. Now in shading, set diffusion to 10. Set ambient to 10. Set roughness to 0.5. Now let's create a new adjustment layer. In effects and preset, search for tritone. Add it to the adjustment layer. Now change the color for tritone as shown. Here you need to adjust the color in such a way that you get a perfect golden color for your logo reveal. Perfect. Now in effects and presets, search for exposure, add it to the adjustment layer. For exposure, set exposure to 0 0.40. Perfect. Now select all layers, pre-compose them. Name it as glossy logo. Perfect. Now for glossy logo, in effects and preset, Search for CC Light Sweep. Add it to the logo composition. Change Shape to Smooth. Change Light Reception to Cut Out. Set Width to 100. Set Sweep Intensity to 1. Set Edge Intensity to 100. Edge Thickness to 2. Now at start of the timer line, create keyframe for center. Now position the center as shown. Now at near about 2 seconds change center position as shown. Here you are free to adjust the position based on your logo. Now at 3 seconds and 20 frames. Change position as shown. Now at 520 change position as shown. You can see the preview. 
perfect. Now add the smoke media file to the timer line. For smoke, you can slightly adjust the scale and position also. Now in effects and preset, search for curves, add it to the smoke layer. Now adjust the curves as shown. You can see the preview. Now let's add the particles media file to the timer line. In effects and preset, search for tint, add it to the particles. Now create duplicate of particles. Change rotation angle, to get variation in particle effect. Change mode to add. Now add the logo composition to the timer line. For logo composition, in effects and preset, search for CC glass, add it to the logo composition. For glass, in surface. Change softness to, 0. Height to, 0. Change displacement to, 0. In light. At start. Create keyframe for light intensity. Set intensity to, 40. Now at 3 second. Change light intensity to, 300. Change light type to, point light. Now at start. Create keyframe for light position, change light position as shown. Now at 3 seconds. Change light position as shown. Now in shading, set ambient to, 0. Set diffusion to, 0. Specular to, 100. Set metal to, 0. Now at start. Create keyframe for roughness. Set roughness to 0. Now at 3 seconds. Set roughness to 0 0.5. You can see the preview. Now let's add the glossy logo composition to the timer line. Place it below logo composition. Now for glossy logo, change track matte to luma matte logo. Depending on your logo, you can adjust the position of glossy logo on the timer line. Now create a new adjustment layer. In effects and preset, search for curves, add it to the adjustment layer. Now slightly adjust the curves as shown. Now search for, sharpen. Add it to the adjustment layer. Set sharpen amount to, 20. Now search for, noise. Add it to the adjustment layer. Set amount of noise to, 5%. Now change layers to 3D. Now create new camera. Create null object. For null, change it to 3D, parent camera to null object. For null, press P to bring up position. Now at start, create keyframe for position. Now attend increase Z position as shown. For logo, press U to view keyframes, select all keyframes. Change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Perfect, you can see the preview. Now create a new solid layer. Here I will name it as solid black. Now press T to bring up opacity. Now at start, create keyframe for opacity. Now at 1 second, set opacity to 0%. Now at 5 seconds, create keyframe for opacity. Now attend, change opacity to, 
Now let's add the frame. Create a new solid. Name it as frame. Now double click on the rectangle tool to create mask. For mask, change path. Set unit to percent of source. Set top to 10%, set bottom to 90%. Select inverted. Now let's see the complete preview. Perfect. Here our cinematic golden logo reveal is created. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial, see you next week with another awesome tutorial.